speaking of moms, one of the biggest missions on our shows is to keep moms feeling connected and supported and heard, especially this year, my goodness. And, you know, sometimes we just think, how do we even take a break when you need it most? And as a parent, you put yourself last. It's just a fact. And so we think about that here. And when a woman named Melissa reached out to us about her friend, Angela, we knew that we wanted to team up to surprise her in a thing we like to call Mom's Time Out. Hey, Drew. I want to nominate my girlfriend, Angela. She had cancer three or four years ago. And then like six months later, I was diagnosed with cancer as well. So we were both going through breast cancer and she was my rock. She would come over and bring me cards and leave little gifts on my doorstep. Angela lost her husband about nine years ago and she had a four-year-old daughter that she had to take care of. Whenever you see her, she just has that smile like that. Not only is she a single mother, but she decided to foster her kids herself. That's just the kind of person she is. And she'll go to our local restaurants and pick up soup or pick up whatever food that they have. And she delivers them like all over. I mean, this girl is, she's crazy. <laughs> I don't know where she finds the time to do that, but it's so much a part of who she is. When I say Angela, I think of all the compassionate things that she does for other people. And she never asks for anything for herself, ever. She always puts people first, and I think that is the most important thing. Hi, Angela. I am uh, so excited to meet you. How do you give back when you're being this example of such an amazing person? There's a variety of ways that I do give back. Um, we, me and a partner run a Christmas program to where we help families in need, make sure that they do not have, that they aren't forgotten on Christmas. It's called Community Santa Project. Um, I also help with my friends. Oh yes, there's the soup and Soup for Soul is one of the local restaurants donated soup to us and we were able to get it to shelters as well as to fam local families in need. Um, we also help with a local children's cancer organization called Cancer Kiss My Cooley, who was started by my best friends after they lost their six-year-old to a brain tumor. Um, so I have my, my spread out a little bit, but just enough to give me balance while raising Kayla. Well, I, I would be honored if I could participate in your Christmas program with my daughters because I'm always looking to find the road to all the examples out there, especially during the holidays. It's at such a time where we're so aware of how important it is to take care of each other. So we would love to put that on our website, all of your you know, missions on our website and help raise you know, as much awareness and funds as we can. And you've been through so much and lived such an extraordinary life. Um, a couple uh, examples is surviving cancer, yes. um, surviving the loss of a husband. Yes, I did. And yet being able to be someone who really gives back to their community through all of that. May I ask, how do you be the kind of person that you are? I started out young. My parents were very giving and loving people, and I was raised that way, and I want to be the best parent I can for my child, and the way to do that is by leading by example. When I was pregnant with Olive, my first child, uh, I was scared of that notion, leading by example, because my example was, you know, a very bohemian, self-sufficient life. And I heard this story on none other than Oprah radio. And Oprah said, Gail, Gail, tell that story. And she's like, I don't know why you love this story so much. And she's like, just tell it, just tell it. And she's like, I went and took my son, Will, to college and I noticed his dorm room, dorm room fridge was empty. And so I took him to the local store to get a few things. And we noticed a traffic cop. It was like the heat, summer. 
he was out there sort of, you know, sweating and we went in to get stuff and I came back and I saw him and I went back in, I got a case of water and I brought it to him. Why, why do you love this story so much? And Oprah said, because in that moment, you taught your son what kind of human being to be. And it gave me the faith I needed as a mom with a baby in my belly that examples were true and that they do work. But never in a million years can you really hold somewhat, someone up higher than you. Thank you, Drew. Thank you. Angela, I have a confession, actually. Um, your best friend, Melissa, actually reached out to me. And she's here with us today. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Angie. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, did you want to tell Angela something today? Oh, God, I'm going to start crying. Um, you know how much you mean to me mm -hmm. and everything that you have gone through, and you're always putting everybody first. Um, when I was diagnosed, you were the first person to call me and, like, what do you need? I'm there for you. Um, that, that meant a lot obviously, because you knew what I was going through, going through it yourself. And uh, just watching you, oh, okay, I'm gonna start crying. Um, you mean so much to me. And I hope that you know that. That you're very emotional. <laughs> it is such a beautiful thing. And really, I'm just here to say we wanted to celebrate all the amazing work that you have done for your community. And we'd love to treat you to an all expense paid vacation to Fiji for two. I hope that would be OK. Oh my goodness, that would be wonderful. <laughs> OK, great. And when it's safe to travel again, we're going to send you and a guest to Yasoa Island Resort and Spa, Fiji, which is tucked away off the coast of Fiji's main island. And they offer the ultimate in all-inclusive luxury. And you'll be arriving courtesy of the national airline of Fiji, Fiji Airways. And by the way, those airlines are like having a trip in itself. And so from when the car picks you up to the very last minute of your vacation, we're just gonna take care of the whole thing and make sure it is nearly as perfect as you are. So this is our way of saying thank you again for being an example and the exceptional person that you are. This is a well-deserved mom's time out. Oh, that's so amazing. Thank you so much, Drew. Thank you, Angela and Melissa. Thanks for letting me hang out with you guys.